Well, good morning and welcome to the homestead. I'm Brian Cosby, and this is Provide and Protect. And today, I'm going to give you 10 benefits of having chickens. So, I want to talk about our setup here. And uh, we have this electric netting and kind of kit from Premier One. And I'll leave a link for it down in the description below. And this chick shaw uh, was a design that I found online. And again, I'll leave a link for that down. In the description below, uh, we created this a number of years ago, and it's, it's held up pretty well. It's been through a number of storms, um, but we can just move this around. And we have 22 chickens, and this is more than enough space for a 22 chicken. Actually, it can hold a lot more than that, probably up to 35 or more. But um, we can just roll this around, which we do. Um, these are newer chickens here, so we are kind of growing this flock out, and um, they're just kind of starting to lay. We, have been doing chickens for about eight or nine years and we give the eggs away a lot um, and when the birds get older we give the birds away um, we don't really do the meat side too often we have done it um, on a couple occasions but we typically give the older birds away other folks but uh, we'll move them around sometimes the chickens will be in here sometimes they'll be out sometimes we'll move them up to a upper paddock up there field during the winter time, we'll have them in the garden, so to fertilize the garden for, so that we're ready for the springtime planting. So that's our setup, and I think there are at least 10 benefits of having chickens. So the first big reason that people get chickens is for the eggs, and um, we can get today. Nice. Got some more, looks like, in there as well. So, uh, Obviously, having having a source of food, and especially the rising costs of food today, and having that source of food uh, right in your own backyard is pretty pretty nice. Eggs are are probably the biggest uh, number one reason for most people getting getting chickens. So, the second reason to have chickens is the fertilizer. So they're always obviously fertilizing the ground. We have them in this temporary setup here, uh, just as they're growing and, and getting bigger, uh, but. You know, normally they'd be out and about. This was all just barren red earth. I mean, clay, it just did not look good. And now it's all green and nice. We can attribute a lot of that to our ladies here. So uh, second reason, fertilizer. So third reason for having chickens is for ticks and bugs that you don't want. And especially when we have them out and they're just free ranging, um, you know, they're, they're eating all the ticks and stuff that you don't want to have around your house. That's pretty helpful. Uh, I've even talked to a lot of other people that have said that when they uh, have have chickens, that they've noticed a decrease in the number of ticks around. So less bugs and ticks. So fourth reason for having chickens is that you can dispose of all your scraps and there's less that goes to waste. And that's a encouraging thing to me that I can take all the scraps from the kitchen, things that uh, would normally go in the trash or somewhere else, and we can help the chickens out. We have a bucket in our kitchen and we can just dispose of that out here with the chickens. So that is the fourth reason. So a fifth reason to have chickens is to get baby chicks. If you want to grow your flock and get more chickens and therefore more eggs, if you want to sell a chickens if you end up doing meat birds or something like that um, you can get baby chicks by having a rooster uh, we do not have a rooster you don't have to have a rooster to get eggs but if you want to have baby chicks then the eggs need to be fertilized obviously but that's another reason to have chickens is uh, you can you can get more um, you don't have to go to the store to buy them so the sixth reason to have chickens is for meat now we don't do uh, meat birds uh, ourselves, but I know a lot of people do. These are Buff Warpington and Rhode Island Red. We've had Americana, we've had Black Astrolorps before, we've had Barred Rock before, we've had a lot of different kinds of chickens before. But a lot of people raise chickens for their meat. Nothing wrong with that. Um, that's just not what we typically do. Part of that is because, you know, our kids, they take care of these and I think it'd be really tough uh, to <laughs> to just do this just for meat. Uh, we've had to do it before. We've had a, we've even had a rooster that attacked my wife and 
if you attack my wife, then you go to the grill. So, um, his name was Trucky. We actually named him, and unfortunately, Trucky had to go to the grill because he attacked my wife. But other than that, we've given away most of the older birds uh, when they've kind of stopped producing. And uh, but yeah, that's another reason that people do chickens is is their meat. So the second benefit of having chickens is it teaches responsibility to those who take care of them. In my case, my two boys. Um, I've got two sons and they take care of the chickens. It teaches our children what responsibility is like and being able to raise a flock and daily going out and collecting the eggs and taking care of them and feeding them and checking on them and if one of them is sick or um, how to take care of them. So uh, that's an important lesson uh, to teach children is that aspect of responsibility. So uh, that is a seventh reason to have chickens. So the eighth benefit of having chickens is kind of a philosophical one and it's you might call it a farm to fork uh, philosophy where you know where your food's coming from. Uh, so much of our food today, uh, we have no idea what country in the world food is coming from or how the animals were treated or raised, anything like that. Um, this, we know where our eggs come from. So ninth benefit of having chickens is to cultivate this old word of husbandry. Uh, it is the careful kind of management and judicious use of resources. And it's how to take care of something in the bigger picture. So how do the chickens take part in our overall picture here on the homestead and fertilizing the garden so that the garden is ready to go in the springtime, um, having the eggs for the food or uh, whatever it is, but it is, it is carefully managing resources and um, and this kind of goes back to maybe some of the, the prepper mentality here. You're not so dependent upon the store that you can manage those resources big picture by, by cultivating your own resources, in this case with having chickens. So kind of that, uh, that husbandry idea is another benefit for having chickens. So the final benefit for having chickens is just for the entertainment. Uh, they are pretty funny. They're fun to watch chasing worms. We like to hear their sounds to come out in the morning and be greeted by our, our flock of ladies. It's just a fun fun piece to, uh, to the homestead. So anyway, the entertainment factor is certainly one of the reasons, one of the benefits uh, of, having, of having chickens. That's gonna do it folks. Thanks so much for watching and joining me today. If you've not already done so, please consider hitting that like button and also subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate you and your support. With that, we'll see you on the next video.